the inspiration for this agency and these kinds of measures development all start with Mr. Hall himself. When the agency opened, it was supported by his estate, but it was funded through contracts with the provincial government. In the 80s, the province went through a, a tremendous uh, downturn economically, and we were all struggling. Our contracts were cut back. We were letting staff go by the dozens, you know, because we only had what we had. Everything we do is based on staff serving children in a direct relationship. So it was devastating. And so and we were sitting on, at that point, 90 acres. We could sell it, but then reinvest it through the creation of a foundation. I think now we've transitioned the value of that property into a living, growing, productive contribution to the agency for now and for this foreseeable future. From the 70s and early 80s, we evolved into a, a more, much, much more diversified agency. Well, some of the monies were used to fund new innovative programs to help pave the way for services that we weren't delivering previously. My understanding is that from the first disbursement up until the latest one, the agency has received about $12 million from the foundation. And the foundation has grown from about 3.3 million to approximately 12 plus million now. The foundation is very much oriented to the future. Even now, you, know, you still hear about uh, um, interest rates and economic strains and so uh, Those realities will continue. But I think the foundation provides some stability. It's strong and will ride out some of those fluctuations. So it, it gives the agency more flexibility and I think a longer perspective and some confidence in the future. <laughs>